everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. Um, this is just a kind of simple cut crease and hopefully I can help you that are struggling or really want to know how to do this because um, I kind of did it like a simpler way because I think there's like loads of ways that you can do this but this is just the way I do it and I think I do it quite easy because I can do it. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoy, enjoy this video and give this video a thumbs up Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and yeah, bye. So I'm just gonna um, use the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer. Just this one's the um, dries transparent because we're gonna be using another um, like another primer potion. Ma, oh, I need to tell you this. My cat just ate my eyelashes. <laughs> Um, I don't know why, I think he thought it was a bug, or a fly, or a spider, but he just ate it, so no longer got them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so once I've done that, I'm going to take um, Makeup Geek Baby Face, which is just kind of like a um, tanned kind of neutral colour for the like to, I'll use this all the time to set my lid. So basically the thing that you'll need really that helps everything is an angled brush and I just use this um, Zoeva wing liner one. This just helps because you can get like in there for the like for the um, line so this will help like this makes it much easier this brush but if you don't have that, you could probably use like this. But as I said, this is probably the easiest way. Oh, I've got this Morphe 35T palette um, recently. But my cat, my cat, my dog just stood on it and done this. It was washed, but I kind of fixed it. But I'm really annoyed because I literally only have it like, I got it on Monday. It's now Sunday and this should be up this video but so I'm just gonna take I forgot to show you this um this colour here um which is just it looks kinda grey on the camera but it's just kind of like a dark brown greyish toned brown if that's even a thing and I'm just gonna trace like not like draw a line where my crease is. It doesn't matter if it's neat or not, like or what. So we're going to clean it up anyway. So it doesn't matter if it goes like, I don't know, kind of like down. If you don't really have a crease, then you can just make your own. And my cat is playing, like rubbing himself off the lights. So I'm sorry if anything like changes. Um, and now I'm just going to go in with a darker colour. <clears throat> um, which is Americano by Makeup Geek. Just so it's a bit more like bolder. Colour, the crease colour and then it kind of a bit more like dark here and then lighter like kind of gradient effect Um, I have no clue what's wrong with my cat it's like jumping everywhere so sorry he always like rubs himself off like my tripod and things so okay so now now that we've got a kind of like line to start us off it looks terrible but We'll fix that. So I'm just going to take the same brush and blend that, kind of like do that, kind of like push the product up upwards. So it's kind of like blending it out a bit. This really just takes a lot of blending and stuff. So you need to kind of have, I'm like really lazy and like if something is blended I'm just like blend it as much as I can be bothered but obviously it usually looks nicer when it's blended properly. Um, I'm gonna go in with another brush, a softer brush if you blend that more. This warm kind of brownie colour from the um, Morphe 35T palette. It looks. What am I pointing? Yeah. 
it looks darker on camera than now, so but it is kind of like a warm kind of colour. But it looks kind of dark. But I'm just gonna blend, like use this to blend out the colour. So I'm just gonna put that here and just start blending that so it's not as harsh. Back in with that darker colour just to blend it out more. And then I'm gonna go back in with the crease kind of colour, like the one we drew the line with, which is Americano by Makeup Week. And then one last time, just gonna blend that all out. You can change this, you could make like, have like a kind of pinky colour, golden colour, crease thing. And if you didn't want to have like a white um, base, like um, lid colour, you could have like gold, I don't know, you'd just decide. But this is kind of like a beginner's kind of like crease thing, if you want. Okay, now I'm taking um, Eden, Eden Primer Potion by Make, um, Urban Decay and I'm just going to clean it up with that. So I'm just taking one of these um, flat brushes and I'm just going to kind of Hopefully you can see this. I always got it short in my videos. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with White Lies by Makeup Geek. And I'm just gonna put that over top the, um, my base kind of primer color. Um, as I said, you can change this to, if you want, um, be gold, pink, I don't know, whatever colour you would like, but I'm just going to stick with, just dropped it, I'm going to stick with white just so it looks like you can kind of see what I'm doing things. So I'm just going to take the same brush um, and I'm just going to put that over top. Um, okay, so now that you've done that, you could just leave it as that and put mascara on, lashes on, whatever. But I'm just gonna, just to make it look a bit nicer, gonna go in with, a, put a wing on, kind of thing. Um, but do wing liner, um, and, but I'm gonna do this off camera. Because okay, so I went in and added mascara and also cleaned up my wing, just so it was sharper and nicer. That's why it's kind of like grey under it because of the black and the concealer. So yeah, um, you can add false eyelashes if you like, but as I said, my cat ate mine. So, um, but yeah, and my eyelashes are quite long today. Like some days they're like really short and some days they're quite long. But we're gonna move on to um, our foundation things now. Um, I'm gonna be taking the Marc Jacobs um, Undercover, um, which is just the Remarkable Primer, as I, I featured this in my haul last video. So I'm just going to use that, um, just to, I'll use this as a moisturiser, and I'm going to mix um, the number 7 Skin Illuminator with it too, just so it's more illuminating. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to put this on my hand, and then add this kind of adds like a stroke cream effect like okay so once I've done that I'm gonna take the Nivea Men post shave balm to um, use as a primer and to anyone that's like why shoes and that, there is basically glycerin in it, which um, I think that's the thing that keeps it in. Um, that's what keeps your makeup on longer because it goes like tacky and things. So I'm just going to put a bit on my, I think I put too much, um, on my hand and I'm then I'm just going to obviously put it on my face. 
which and then rub it in until it goes tacky. Um, and basically it was like Nikki Tutorials that kind of like found this and realised it was good for your makeup stain on. Um, if you want to see a updated foundation routine, just let me know because, well, this is kind of it, so, yeah. <laughs> but, obviously, um, that day that I filmed that foundation routine, I bought new products and it all changed. So, that always happens to me, but, like, I always film, like, a video and, like, oh, this is what I do every day. Then I change it that day. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I'm just going to rub this in until it goes tacky. Um, and also if you want an updated eyebrow routine, I always leave my eyebrow routine in the description and the foundation routine. But because my eyebrows have changed as well, I don't know if you think they have or not. Every time I film they always go bad but... Okay so for foundation I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation. Watch, I only need a wee tiny bit. Bet you'll put too much on because I can't really see what I'm doing. And I've got this spot suddenly. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my sponge, the Real Techniques Medical Complexion sponge, and just blend it in. It literally covers everything, like all my redness on my cheeks, everything. <laughs> I'm going to get a mirror because I'm not even looking at anything that I've basically the no mirror makeup challenge. Um, this colour's in gold and beige, I think. Let me see. Golden medium, which is number 44. If anyone is wondering. Um, I watched this. Well, Shani Grimmin. I didn't look some videos. I don't show me... Um, doing my foundation um, and I heard her saying that she doesn't like if someone doesn't show the, doing their foundation she just exits out the video so let me know if you prefer me showing my foundation or you just think it's boring because I use the same foundation like in every video so I'm using the collection Last Imperfection concealer in light um, so yeah, I'm just going to put this under my eyes, on my nose, and I use this to highlight by the way, <laughs> in case you haven't already noticed. Yeah, because sometimes I speed through this and everything and um, cut out bits of me like blending my concealer. So let me know if he was like seeing this. I don't know if he's well, but. Then I'm going to be taking this Rimmel Match Perfection um, Loose Powder. Um, and I'm just going to be setting where I highlighted with this. With, yeah. And I'm going to be using the face shape brush by Zoeva. I, my, um, if you have like a problem that your mascara always goes on your underneath your eye, try a loose powder because that's mine's always went under my oh, speaking when I'm tam off. Mine's always went under my eye, but since I got like a loose powder, always help like. It not go under your eyes. I don't know if that made any sense. Set my face with like a loose powder and it doesn't go under my eye. 
and I would bake but effort, time. <laughs> And then I'm just going to take some more of that powder and just set the rest of my face. Even though that was basically all on my face, just my cheeks, but that I mean. So there we go. Then I'm going to take the Too Faced Cocoa Contour and then contour my cheeks with dark cocoa. This is like a kind of orangey toned bronzer, but oh well. I'm just blending it upwards because you don't want to blend it out like down away because obviously you don't have you're not meant to have bronzer there. Don't worry, I blend it out more as well. This isn't just much of a blender. And let me know if you prefer talking videos with tutorials or you like um, just music because I don't know, I always just do music but I can do talky ones if you want even though I'm not that good at speaking <laughs> um, and I think my camera's about to run out ok so now I'm now going in with Bahama Mama bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks I'm so sorry my camera keeps on cutting out but I just bronze my face up more with the Bahama Mama bronzer and then I'm going to take Frat Boy blush as usual <laughs> Um, this is why I sometimes skip like foundation and things because I'll literally use the same things all the time. I do have like different products, I just effort. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know, I just always forget about them and stuff. Um, I'm going to use Mary Luminizer by The Bam and this kind of like roundy blushy brush. It's kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills like highlight brush but it's not. <laughs> and I'm just gonna highlight with that. And ta -da. <laughs> um, I just think highlight makes everything look so much better. So yeah, and then I'm gonna go in with. What's your type by the BAM? I swear this video isn't sponsored by the BAM, I wish. But yeah, I just take a lot of this product off. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to be taking this Illamasqua Slick Stick um, in Flush. And it's just, I'm just going to use this as a lip liner, but I don't have a mirror, so hopefully you can see this. And then I'm going to go in with Velvet 59 um, liquid lipstick, but I don't know if this is in Kalia or whatever. It's like in little tiny writing, so I'm not sure if that's the name or what, but I'm just going to use that anyway. Kind of plumish colour. I never use this colour but I really like it. 
So then I'm going to go in with, that's a smart I thought it was a lipstick, awkward. Um, then I'm going to go in with Freedom London um, Fixing Spray and I'm just going to spray that on my face. And I am done. So I really hope you enjoyed this video um, and hopefully it helped you out. As I said in my last video, please please leave video requests down below for like makeup if you want any tips for anything. Um, just leave anything you would like down below and help me because I'm really struggling with video ideas. And yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week for another new video. Bye.